And here we are. Set of the morning. I said we will go, so it's what, 5.30, a little bit later than during the weekend, week, weekdays. But, of course I was up at the normal time and Lisa was already moving around at 5 a.m. So, she's getting used to the time. And as you can see, no rain during the evening or night either. I said I will not be doing the the current events, but I have to do this. Um, I mentioned to the child that unfortunately perished due to the negligence of his parents well a parent and her partner so now there are a little bit more information to be given so they were both charged under the under the causing death from uh, through negligence um, part of the criminal code and now they have so we knew that the kid he would be in August too Chucky Lizzy Griva took his mal Ridna okay we'll be right back so we are back, uh, so the kid spent at least two hours in the car. Um, while the, the adults were inside. Um, and now they, the police have revealed that the kid's mother and her partner, which I assume it's not based on the media reporting it's not the actual father biological father of the kid had in the past several runnings with the police basically they were they are petty criminals the woman has already had four kids altogether so now she has three Um, and while they were, you know, searching the car and the apartment, well, the house, the building, I don't know, I think it was a house. Um, they found drugs associated paraphernalia and also scales which they are now assuming, alleging, that they were both involved in. Lisa, Nino Benga Kujeta. She's watching if any dog will show up. Pretty. Nini, Bova Nara probala Puchakat. Yeah, because today there is no Monty with us. We can try and meet Nara later. We still have like half an hour. So yeah, back to the story. They are now alleging that they were involved in, you know, drug dealing. They are waiting for the results of the blood and urine tests. If they were under the influence at the time of the incident. Um, and now the best thing not only the they were both known to the police due to the previous uh, criminal record she still have custody of all her kids all four of them 
based on the media reporting so far. Um, they were, you know, different uh, different fathers. The social service center. So we have centers, not offices. Um, were aware of her situation. Let's say it like this. Uh, but they couldn't do anything, intervene, interfere, due to the fact that she would be moving around very frequently, you know, from the jurisdiction of one center to another. You know, she came, she moved, she came to the center to, you know, apply to get her welfare, and when they would try to, you know, or they get got you know information regarding their um, status, and most likely they would wanted to do a welfare check. You know they moved. So this is what they are assuming, and now to top it all, all, all to top it all. The reason why the kid was left in the car, this was uh, just published by one of the papers, was that they were celebrating her plastic augmentation of the, let's say, upper chest area. And this is why the kid was left in the car. Sorry. And once again, this tragic case will reveal, you know, an ability or I don't know, carelessness of the public public officials that should be protecting the kids you know if they were were known of this situation even the criminal situation why they still allowed the kids to be with her so yeah okay we will end on this point but tragic story, you know, no matter how you look at it, a kid has died.